in this talk we are going to introduce differential equations we're not trying to going to figure out how to solve them but we understand what they mean what it means to be a differential equation what it means to be a solution to a differential equation so differential equations usually written as saying there's some kind of expression in terms of of an independent variable a dependent variable so x is the independent variable y is the dependent variable and the derivatives of that dependent variable so here x y bar prime y the and there's some kind of relation between them which means there's some capital f of these which is zero which just means there's some expression involving these which is zero and what does it mean to solve such a differential equation to find a solution well it's a function it's a it's a so function f such that when you put y as fx and you put all these things y prime as f prime x y double prime as f double prime x and mm -hmm. so on and when you plug them into the expression you get zero for all x in the domain of the function okay so it's like saying you find a function such that this equation is true as an identity in x okay it's true for all x uh, and a relational solution is something similar we'll talk about relational solution but let me just give you a quick example of a differential equation so here's one differential equation y prime plus y is x plus 2 now if i wanted to write it in this form i would just bring everything to one side okay i could put that here if i wanted okay that's that's the way i wrote it here but but you often people write it with some stuff on left some stuff on the right okay hmm? Mm -hmm. any problem no okay good so so that's good so i could write it like this then it, then the capital f is what capital f is just this whole expression okay now what's the solution to this differential equation when i'm claiming that fx is x plus one solves this differential equation which means i'm claiming that when i put y is x plus one and y prime is the derivative mm -hmm. then then this is true regardless of the value of x is that true yeah that right? when i put y is x plus one i get one plus x plus one minus x plus two is zero is true for all x so y is x plus one is a functional solution. Okay, good. Now, now I'm not saying it's the only solution. You could have maybe other solutions. We don't know anything about that yet. Okay. Now there's also a concept of relational solution. Here you don't write y as a function of x. You write a relation between x and y, which satisfies the differential equation. So what does that mean? Hmm? What would it mean to be a relational solution? It means maybe at y cannot be explicitly. Yeah, but how would you check if I give you a relation? How would how would you make sense of checking this? What would you do? How do you calculate y prime and y double prime and so on? Uh, you differentiate it implicitly. You do implicit differentiation. There's a technique for differentiation where y is not explicitly a function of x. Right, you differentiate it and you move stuff around. It's called implicit differentiation. So you do that to find these derivatives. Once you found all of them, then you plug in and you check, and you should get zero identically for all x, so for all the x y which satisfy the relation. Okay. Uh, the next thing is a slightly trickier thing. So that's called initial value problem. An initial value problem is is a situation where it's sort of like saying you're given the differential equation, but a single differential equation would have lots of solutions. And initial value problems gives additional information about what solution you want. So how does it do that? Well, it actually gives you a point, x0, y0, y1 to yk minus 1. These are all actual numbers. Mm -hmm. And you now want to find a solution to the differential equation, which satisfies the additional condition that f of x0 is y0. Okay. Mm -hmm. f of the first derivative of x0 should be the number y1 the second derivative of x should be the number y2 and you go on till yk minus 1 so if the differential equation has odd over k that means it goes up to the kth derivative the initial value problem you typically specify only up to the k minus 1 derivative in some sense the reason is that because you have this relation anyway once you specify it up to the k minus 1 derivative the kth derivative would also get specified because of the relation that's the intuition okay what this means is you actually have numbers here and you want to find the function, functional solution or relational solution where actually if you plug in the number x0, you get the number y0 for the function value, the number y1 for the first derivative and so on. Okay, so uh, ignore this for now. 
जिसको आप हे वॉट काइंड ऑफ वॉट इनिशियल वैल्यू प्रॉब्लम वुड हैव दिस एज सोल्यूशन so oh, this 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 is a differential equation mm -hmm. can you give a initial value condition such that this is a solution to that initial value condition 1 2 1 2 right mm -hmm. so when x is 1 y is 2 so x is 1 y is 2 for this side x this is then this is a functional solution which satisfies this condition right mm -hmm. so if i were, if i give you this differential equation and give you x is 1 y is 2 then uh then this would be a solution to the initial value problem okay and because you're going only up to the first derivative here for the differential equation you actually need to only specify up to y0 so actually this is the complete initial value problem okay because you have to go up to one less than the number of derivatives you have here okay uh now a couple of additional remarks now for the differential equations are not so this you have to be very careful the differential equation you are not trying to solve for x or solve for y they are not equations that you are solving for the variables the differential equation remember is true for all values of x right the solution right mm -hmm. so you are not solving for x what are you solving for you are solving for the relationship between the variables or the functional relationship so they are actually equations which you are solving for functions they are called So equations where we are trying to solve for a function are called functional equations. Okay. So so an example of a functional equation is not a differential equation. Just to illustrate, uh, is like f of. So this is actually a different setup. These x and y are nothing to do with those x and y. Just saying, find a function f such that this is true for all x, y in the domain in R. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is a functional equation. It's nothing to do with differential equations, per se. I'm just showing you how functional equations could look like. Mm -hmm. We are trying to solve this for what? For x and y. No. We are trying to solve this for f. So we have we we have a functional we have a relation something here, and we have to find the functions f. So this is true for all x and y. Okay. okay, but if you don't, if you don't tell me about it, I don't know what you are solving for. You might just well be solving for. Well, x I couldn't be solving for x, but x and y because I already said for all x, y. Right. So I'm saying find the function f so that this relation is true for all x and y now. Okay. Okay. Okay, and and for example, what's the solution to this? Well, f x equals. Five x is a solution. So this is an example of a functional equation, and differential equations are also examples of functional equations. That's what I'm trying to say. They're not functional equations of this type, but they are different types of functional equations. Because when you're given a differential equation, you're not trying to solve for x and y. You're trying to really solve for the function relating x and y. If you look at this, right? This is an equation. You are not trying to solve the equation for x. Mm -hmm. You are trying to solve the equation for the function f. Okay, so differential equations are functional equations, mm -hmm. but not all functional equations are differential equations. In fact, differential equations have a very peculiar type of behavior. They capture behavior only at a single point. So notice that when you, when I write the differential equation in this form, all the function evaluations. And all the derivative evaluations are happening only at that same point x, right? Yeah. Okay. That's a peculiar behavior of differential equations. So if I give you, let's say, uh, this functional equation. Uh, let's 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 do do the example. So so doesn't matter what I write down. Let's just for consistency. So f x plus F prime x cubed. Okay, this is a differential equation, right? Because you are doing, you have a relation between x, f x, and f prime x. Mm -hmm. I haven't written it in the x y notation. I've written it in x f notation, but it's still the same, right? This is, this is a differential equation. 
Now suppose I give you x square is fx plus f prime of 1 minus x. Is this a differential equation? Yes. Well, no, or not not differential equation as in the way I defined it. Why? Well, you can you can well you do the differential equation if you substitute one minus x is u. Well, but now you have more than one independent variable, right? You, I mean, you do want to keep that this is one minus x. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is not a differential equation the way I have said it because it's really you're evaluating the function at two different points, right? You have okay. 1 minus x and you have x. So it's really relating the behavior of the function at two far away points. Mm -hmm. Okay? And the way I'm trying to define differential equation is that that's not allowed. So you can only relate the behavior of the derivatives all at a single point. Okay. So actually there are there are generalizations of differential equations which, which include these. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, so it's not that these are never studied. There are some called delayed differential equations which do this type of thing. But the point I'm trying to make is that the techniques we develop for differential equations will not apply directly to these. Okay, because here you're doing you're doing the function evaluation at different points. Okay. The function and the derivative evaluations. Okay. So differential equations are functional equations where all the evaluations are happening at a single point. Function and its derivatives. Uh, finally, I want to say it does not make sense to ask if a point satisfies the differential equation. So let's get back here. I'll use some other example maybe. Okay, so, so let's say I give you a differential equation. X squared is y plus y prime. Okay. Then I ask you, does the point x equal 2 and y equal 3, does it satisfy this differential equation? What's your answer? No. Well, I'm going to... Are you just asking you whether it says that yes, because they're both 0. They're both 0? Oh, no, no, 0. 2 plus 0. 3 plus 0. No, I'm saying it does. Is this point? Well, no. okay. So this, it actually doesn't make sense to ask the question whether the point satisfies the differential equation, right? What I really should be specifying is what's the relation between y and x? Okay, so that's what I was saying. Differential, this doesn't make sense. Question doesn't make sense. That's why you're confused. Because I asked a nonsense question. Okay, I should really be asking here, I should really be specifying a functional relationship between x and y. I should really be saying y is this function of x and does that satisfy the differential equation? That would be a legitimate question. Okay. Right? Just giving a point and saying does it satisfy the equation? Doesn't make sense. That's what I was saying. Differential equations are functional equations. Okay. A solution to that is a function. It's not a point. Okay. Okay. Good. So we have, we covered all these three things. Right? Yeah. Okay, now order of a differential equation is just the largest k which appears in the, so there's the largest order of derivative appearing in the, it's the highest order of derivative in the differential equation. Okay, uh, the degree of a differential equation if the differential equation is polynomial in the highest order derivative, then highest order derivative, then its uh, degree is just the degree of the point. So let, let's now start writing down some examples. Let's see. Uh, okay, let's just do a fancy example. So here's one. Y plus xy triple prime plus y double prime square is sine y prime. Okay, you don't have to solve this. Okay, mm -hmm. differential equations are not usually meant to be solved. They're meant to be appreciated. Okay, but but so let's appreciate this. What is the order of this differential equation? Three. Three. 
So that's the largest order debit. So order is three. Okay. Now degree of a differential equation is think about it just in terms of its highest order derivative. Okay. If the highest order, if it's just if it's a polynomial in the highest order derivative, that is, just think of the rest of the inner things as like constants. Okay. If it's a polynomial in the highest order derivative, then the degree of that polynomial is defined as the degree of the differential equation. So what's the degree? One. One. Okay, let's take another example where ask I'll ask you for the uh, Uh, if any, if any of you are watching, uh, find these equations. I mean, please don't try to solve them. I didn't write. Down, I'm not writing down equations that are, can be solved. Maybe by chance you can solve one of them, but that's unlikely. Okay. Okay. Here's another example. So, what's the order of this differential equation? Three. And the degree? Two. 2 because that's exponent on the highest, highest, order. Degree, highest order highest order term. Okay, we don't care that y prime is the fifth power. Okay, uh, the reason why this is important is because we we'll often restrict our attention to, to degree 1 differential equations. Degree 1 differential equation basically means that the highest order derivative just uh, sort of it's, it's sort of, you can solve for that in terms of the others, right? It's a linear thing in that. So you can actually solve for the highest order derivative in terms of the others. And degree one differential equations are reasonably nice, even if they are very high order. I mean, they're nicer than not degree one. Okay. Okay, the next concept is, so I got the criteria, that the highest, this is the degree of as a polynomial in the highest order derivative. And if it's not a polynomial in the highest order derivative, then it doesn't make sense to ask for the degree. Okay, autonomous differential equation. This is an important concept. Uh, or what does autonomous mean? You know? Mm? What does it mean, autonomous differential equation? Means if you don't know, say you don't know. It means it means you can s express y prime in terms of x. No. What? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I remember what hmm. autonomous is. What is it? It means x doesn't show in the yes the independent mm -hmm. variable. That was a very, uh, have you seen this before? Yes. So the independent variable doesn't appear at all explicitly. Okay, so this capital F here, sort of X doesn't appear in the description. Do you happen to know why that's significant? Yes. Can you give a one line expression? Because well, typically autonomous differential equations are written as equations where the so the dependent variable is denoted x, the independent variable is denoted t. So there are equations where you are doing something with respect to time, and the autonomous condition just says that if you if you translate time, it doesn't matter. The value doesn't change. The, the, equation, the equation itself is invariant under time transition. So that's, that's a topic for another day. Mm -hmm. uh, if, you're, if you're seeing this in review, maybe that's helpful. But otherwise, ignore what I've said. Here's an example of an autonomous differential equation. Cosine of y, y prime, y triple prime. Don't be tempted to solve this again. This is just an example where the x doesn't appear. Okay, so that's a uh, autonomous thing. And then we have linear differential equation. This means that the differential equation is linear in 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 terms of y and all its derivatives. It need not be linear in x. Okay, so it's linear. So f f the the expression 
is linear in y y prime but it need not be linear in x okay so what's an example of of a linear differential equation where I have one so e to the x y triple prime plus x x squared y double prime plus sine x times y prime plus 3y equals x square minus 2x plus 5. Okay, so it's it's some constant times y triple prime. Well, constant as it's some function of x and y triple prime plus some function of x and y double prime plus some function of x and y prime plus some function of x and y is some function of x. Mm -hmm. That's what linear is. Okay, so linear your it includes coefficients could in could be functions of x. Now there's, there's another version of linear which says linear with constant coefficients where the coefficients all have to be actually uh, constants. Okay, mm -hmm. but there could still be a be a function of x on the other side, and there's some complications there. But this is a general definition of linear differential equation. Okay. Uh, so far so good. Now just a couple more terms. So particular solution is just a single solution, a functional or relation. Okay. Solution family is 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 a family of solutions with one or more parameters. So you you actually have parameters. Uh, if you fix certain values of the parameters, you get actual particular solutions. A quick example of that. Uh, I cannot explain right now why you have this concept. That's that's the next video. Uh, and the general solution is like a solution family that covers all solutions. Now, when I say all, I don't really mean all. It could miss a few really terrible solutions, but. I mean, many people use the word general solution for something, even if it misses one or two bad solutions. But you can just think of it as something which covers all solutions. So uh, let's write down a solution family. Let's see. Okay, so let's say you have y squared plus y prime squared is 1. Okay, now if I just asked you for a particular solution, you could have said y sine x is a particular solution, right? Mm -hmm. But now I ask you solution family, where well, you say, or as I say, take this. Now, what this is really saying is that if you fix any single value of c, then once you fix the value of c, then that gives you a solution to the differential equation. And different values of c will therefore give you different solutions. Mm -hmm. So this is a solution family. Okay, let's just check it actually is a solution family. So y is sine x plus c, what is y prime? Cosine x plus c. Cosine of x plus c. When you plug in, does it satisfy this? Yes. Okay, so this is a solution family, right? Mm -hmm. Regardless of the value of c, you get a solution. So you get actually you get infinitely many different solutions, okay? It's a solution family, and how many parameters does it have? One. One parameter. Okay, good. So, now general solution would be a solution family that covers all solutions, okay? Uh, now, for instance, in this case, you may be wondering, are there any more solutions? Or does this actually give you all the functional solutions? Right? And, and that's the kind of question we, we, we cannot answer yet. But, but the point of general solution is it should be a solution family that covers all solutions. Sometimes it may miss a couple really weird ones, singular ones. But uh, typically, you want to include all, right? OK, so, so that's it. That's the notion of differential equation. We now understand what a differential equation is, what a solution is, means, what various terms of the solution. We don't yet know how to what 
solve our defensive equations, but let's not spoil the suspense now. We'll do that next time.